Okay. Ta da! <laughs> hey guys, I'm Terry, and this is Bronson, and we're gonna be showing you some recipes um, for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and um, a snack. Not all at once, but this is gonna be our granola recipe. So, in the granola recipe, the good thing about this is that you can make it however you want. Like, if the recipe calls for walnuts, and you don't have walnuts, sub it out for pecans, or sub it out for almonds, or whatever your taste buds want that day. And, you know, that's the good thing about this, is making your own, is that you're gonna make it exactly how you want. Like. So, I always recommend when you have a recipe, cut it down either in half or in a quarter, that way you can adjust the taste and not waste all the food and it not taste good. So I'm all about no waste. Right, Bryson? Yeah. No waste, right, yeah. no waste. Okay, so we have, and if you will come into this, we'll show you all of our ingredients. We did get them ready. We got pecans. We got our seasoning, which we use cinnamon, nutmeg, and it's got sea salt. And then we've got sliced mm. almonds. If you want whole almonds, you can do whole almonds or slivers. We have unsweetened coconut. There's some here and over here because we, there's a lot of coconut in there. <laughs> hemp hearts. Hemp hearts are amazing um, and they taste really good. Mm. We've got chai seeds. We've got flax seeds. We've got raisins. We've got chopped up dates, which mm. are my favorite. And we've got pepitos mm. that you can add in. Um, but you can oh. add in sunflower seeds. You can add in pumpkin seeds. Oh, you can add in, um, what else? Yeah. You can take out anything that you want. Oh, so what you do is, is we take our bowl, yeah. our bowl, right Bryson? Okay, you ready? And we just stuck it into the bowl. There you go. Oh. You wanna help me do this? Come here. <laughs> Yep, see we just dump it into the bowl. Oh. Oh. Now, okay, you ready? Okay, now the one thing we didn't show you, okay, and there's the seasoning, look at the seasonings on there. Okay, so the one thing we didn't show you is, is that I have walnuts over here. Now they're like half piece walnuts. So for the, for the kiddos that you don't want to give a sharp knife to, you can actually just take it and break it into little pieces. So it's a really good fun activity for kids who need something to do. <laughs> so, but I'm going to chop them and you just want to make sure your fingers are not in the way. Yep, mm -hmm. there you go. And he's going to take the spoon and he's going to mix it up together. That's also a really good activity for the kiddos. Okay. Good job, Thank you, Tom. Okay, you're gonna get it. He's all right. Okay. okay. So, me and Bryson got all of this mixed up together. The dates tried to stick together. We just went in and just pulled them apart. And then what you wanna do is add your liquid ingredients. Now, here we have maple syrup. Maple syrup is a wonderful alternative to refined sugar. And it's probably what we use the most, that and honey. So we're gonna use vanilla extract. And I will tell you that you have a perfect measuring spoon right here on the lid. Yeah. So all we do is, is pour it into the lid. I just got like a little slit on top of it and just pour it right straight into the maple syrup. What is that? This is vanilla extract. So, and then we have our coconut oil. Yay. And then we're going to take these <coughs> and we took that solid coconut oil and just melted it on the stove oh. and let it cool a little bit. And then we're going to pour all of our wet ingredients <gasps> on top of that. Oh. The maple syrup is what gives it its sweetness. Take your time, Bryson. You want me to help you? Mm. Yeah. And you just want to toss it to coat it. You don't want to do it really mm. like, want to toss it. Mm. Yeah, toss it, right, Bryson? Mm. And if you've got kids who want to get their fingers in there, that you can do that too. Spoons are not required. It's a little sticky, but... Okay. 
Okay, so we need a sheet pan with sides on it and parchment paper. Parchment paper you can get at Walmart and get it at the dollar store anywhere you want to, but it has to be parchment paper. So take it, right, Bryson? And we're going to pour it. I don't like to waste, so you'll see me scrape this bowl. <laughs> okay. Can you help me, Bryson? Take your spoon. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and just spread it out. You want it to be kind of an even layer? Because it's going to bake in the oven. Now, it's going to bake at 250, which is a very low temp, but you can put this in the oven and leave it while you're getting ready and it'll be ready by the time you take a shower and get your morning going. Or you can make it the night before. Mm. Right, Bryson? Mm. Oh, it smells good, don't it? Okay. You're gonna turn this a couple of times in between, but that is in your instructions. Mm. So. Mm. It goes in the oven. Did you get a shot of how pretty that is? <laughs> I think that's so pretty. Okay. So you're gonna need some type of measuring um, bowls, measuring cups, <laughs> measuring cups, measuring spoons. You're gonna need a mixing bowl. You're gonna need um, some type of spoon. Doesn't have to be little, can be big. Um, I do have a fork out here. Um, as far as chopping anything up goes, like I said, you can break it with your hands. Um, baking sheet and parchment paper. All you need and something to store it in when it comes out. Although I will tell you that you probably won't last that long. <laughs>